three seconds, two and one. The United States will play for gold. Hello there, neighbor. Great to see you again at this time of year. Thanks for having us over to your rink. Come to think of it, a few years have passed since we last met under these circumstances. We have some great memories together, don't we? Nicola Wong in on goal. He's stopped by Tyler Parsons. The U.S. has done it. Tyler Parsons with the save. The Americans are world junior hockey champions. There's a chance here on a three on two rush. Over the line, Carlson. He scores. The U.S. wins the gold medal. Sean Carlson has done it. I remember both times I was watching with my dad and um, we were pretty pumped up uh, with the John Carlson one and then the Troy Terry in the shootout. Those are uh, legendary moments in this tournament for USA Hockey and uh, it was awesome to watch and to be able to play in a Canada USA gold medal game in this tournament. Um, it's, uh, it's a dream come true and, and we're going to make the most of it. At this point in the World Junior Repartee, a measure of humility is required on the American side. Yes, Team USA has prevailed the last three times we've met for gold including the last two while you hosted for the holidays. But Canada's overall dominance in the tournament must be acknowledged. You've won gold 18 times. We have four. Team Canada has medaled at the World Junior almost three times as often as Team USA. So let's turn our edges, pivoting away from antipathy. This is an occasion to appreciate the rivalry we share and the chance to renew it at a time of heartache and hope. When we see these sweaters together on this stage, our emotions somersault like a twice-tipped shot from the point. The result is exhaustion, elation if we're lucky, and the memory of a time and place in our lives, what we felt, where we watched, whom we experienced it with. The Montreal masterpiece was four years ago tonight. Brendan Brisson, then 15, was there in his father's native province, cheering for Team USA. You know, I remember being in the packed out, packed rink when it was USA, Canada, you know, the feeling of there, you know, I get chills just thinking back on uh, how the feeling was in the building. Now, the California native is one win from a gold medal of his own. I've always wanted to play for Team USA growing up and you know, seeing them battle it out, you know, it's it's more than just a game. It's a battle of the two countries, and those games are always, you know, really passionate, and I, I can't wait to play in one. Jeff Sanderson, a veteran of more than 1,100 NHL games, was born and raised in the Northwest Territories. He played for Canada in three world championships, twice winning gold. But his son, Jake, wears red, white, and blue with the support of family living in the Canadian host city. My grandparents are there and all my cousins are there too, so it's kind of like a family hotspot up in Edmonton. We usually go up there for a couple family reunions and um, I know my family up there will be cheering me on. I love both countries, but um, for now, I guess, and always, you know, I'll be an American and you know, I always love it on that crest. Nate Lehman was an assistant for Team USA at the 2007 World Junior when the shared brilliance of Jonathan Taves and Carey Price secured Canada's shootout victory in the semifinal. In comes Mueller on Price. Peter Mueller. In. Stop by Price. Canada's going to the gold medal game at the World Junior Hockey Championship. More recently, five members of this Team USA suffered a controversial loss to Canada at Rogers Place in Edmonton in the semifinal of the 2018 Holinka Gretzky Cup. When replays showed Dylan Cousins tying goal at the end of regulation should not have counted. Fire, centers it, here comes Cousins, goal! At the horn, Cousins ties it up! Had time expired, that's the question. The horn was sounding as the puck went in the net. Team USA is arguing it's no goal, and we're going to have a controversy here to finish this. It's a goal. No, it shouldn't be a goal, and USA has been robbed. That was one of the tougher moments in my hockey career, for sure, and I think, um, you know, we got a few guys <clears throat> from that team on this team, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's definitely in the back of our minds. Um, you know, like I said, obviously it was a tough moment, but we have a chance tomorrow to, to kind of correct that. You see, old friend, we've both had our moments. 
Your 3-0 lead in Olympic gold medals over the last four decades deserves mention here, too. Beginning with the John Carlson goal, Team USA has won seven World Junior medals, three of them gold. Over the same period, Canada has, yes, seven World Junior medals and three of them gold. We know that, that, that they're the team to beat in this tournament. We know everything's been written about them, you know, from day one. We know that this is one of their best teams all time, and we want to go. We want the challenge. We want the opportunity. So let's make a pact. If you win, we won't mention that Jack Hughes and Nick Robertson and Johnny Beecher and Thomas Bordalo could have played on this team. And if Team USA wins gold in your barn, again, Let's not hear about Alexi Lafreniere, Herbie Dock, and Owen Power. Tonight is about two great countries, the sport we share, and the efforts and sacrifices of all those, on and off the ice, who made the 2021 World Junior a reality. By necessity, the border between us has fallen quiet, but the inscription on the Canadian side of the Peace Arch at Surrey, British Columbia and Blaine, Washington remains true. Brethren dwelling together in unity. Thanks, neighbor, for the pleasure of your company once again.